Okay, tell me this. Tell me this straight, straight goods. Have you been cutting, out in a bush cutting, and things are going great? You know, you you go out there and, 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 and it's beautiful. You're cutting, your saw's cutting good, it's straight, you load up, you're going home with your firewood, feeling great, load the shed up, and you do that, gosh, do that for a few months. You're, you know, you're getting, you're getting good. It's, it's coming. It's feeling good. Then all of a sudden, you get out there one time and the saw gets kind of starts to curl over to one side and you're thinking, well, that's weird. I better sharpen it. And you sharpen it. And you go, well, I, that didn't work. Why, why didn't that work? What? What's happening here? Why? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? Why do we cut on an angle? What What are the reasons? What's What's with this curving cut thing? Well, I know what it was for me. Let's have a look at it. This is the chain that is half skip, or pardon me, half ground chain and half hand file. Okay, and all I'm doing, ever so slightly, just bringing up the edge on the hand file. That's it. See? Literally, just making sure she's biting wood. This, we're done. Everything's sharp. Both sides just got it. Okay? Let's check raker heights real quick, friends, all right? We'll go soft. No, we won't. We'll go hard. actually good see how much more you take off with the uh, with the hand file friends talk to you in a minute okay friends so this chain let's look real quick you, that's where I want you guys right there in line with the cut see if it'll bend it, it'll probably pull into the wood should pull in so you'll see this go in if if my theory stands yes that's it's definitely not going to carve out friends how's everybody doing I hope I hope you're doing well truly uh, so you may ask yourself after the or, or tell yourself or, or say to yourself bucking you know you're just freaking carving over you, you're just putting this on and you're doing that to make this hey look at my eye hey gosh I sure was a lot of comments in the man in the in the in the comment section they tell me to get antibiotics and all this crazy stuff friends it's a it's a it's a it's a blood vessel friends that's all it is I, I went to the doctor well over a week ago and she just looked at me and she said what so I was just just asking I went with Hogan Hogan was doing some things and I just went in with him I just thought why not and uh, she didn't even she just went yeah it was a couple weeks and we'll be cleared up so it's just a blood vessel. Everything's good. There was no pain ever. I didn't even know I did it. Anyway, that's that. Um, thank you for your concerns. Um, so I did this video a long time ago, but we've got a lot of new subscribers in, in the past little while. And I want to thank you and welcome you personally to the channel. Yes, you. I'm talking to you if you're new here. I don't take this stuff lightly when you come here and you hit the subscribe button. That means that... That means that you confirm that this character's okay or or, or something here you, you like. Could be the community, could be me, could be the power saws, could be the drums, could be could be all kinds of different things. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Um, friends, th th this is 
this is one reason you you could could be experiencing carving out on an angle, and it's probably the most common, is, is that it's the filing. Um, I, I'm bound in a cut now, like I'm looking at, I'm, I'm actually bound, and I'm building the video right now, and I thought I would interject. And there's always the skeptic, he goes, oh, he's just a, friends. Sharpen your power saw really sharp on one side, and don't sharpen the other side and cut in. And you'll see what happens. It's the same thing. It's pulling one. So ground chain cuts faster than hand file. It's just that simple. It does. So that's what's happening here. The, the saw is very sharp. Rakers are down. Everything's perfect on it. It's set up. It's pulling hard to the grind side. Pulling hard to the grind side. In the bigger wood, I actually get bound. The saw won't go anymore. <laughs> Keep watching. Uh, I hope this helps because this is a thing that has been a, a nemesis for people for years. Listen, I'm going to get back to the video here, friends. Thanks so much. Let's keep being kind out there. Over and out.
is come over. It's going to be messy, but I'm going to get it right now. This is the only way this will happen. Okay, so friends, I did this a long time ago, but I wanted to do it for the new subscribers. Welcome, by the way. If you don't cut all the time, you won't notice it. We got some more, we got some more cutting to do. Okay, I hope that made sense. Now, McCullough time. How's everybody? How's everybody doing? Excuse me. So tell me this. Have you have you ever wondered or have you ever done it? Have you ever wondered what chain cuts cuts faster? Full. I guess you guys call it most people we, we here call it full house. That's just full, full. Tooth, 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 tooth. And others uh, call it uh, full comp, I guess, or something like that. And then we have Jane called skip tooth, skip sequence, full sequence. So let's just go with that. So it's kind of a universal thing. So have you ever wondered in what scenarios, what cuts faster and what, what are the benefits of, of skip tooth opposed to full house and what the benefits are of full opposed to skip? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever experienced it or have you just heard things and gone, I'm going to go with that because if that's the case, unfortunately, that's not knowledge. That's someone else's either hearsay or, or someone else's knowledge that they've experienced. Well, let's get started on a little thing today where we can all kind of enjoy it and look at it together and experience it together. And I'll show you what I got on the go here. I'm going to run my 394 with a full house chain, full sequence in two, two pieces of wood, one fairly big and then the other kind of smaller because in smaller wood, you won't notice a big difference. Um, in bigger wood, skip tooth can sometimes be beneficial. It, it's not as hard on the saw that that's for sure. 
but it's not to say it's faster. So, let's get on with it. <laughs> So let's set you guys up over here and let's take a couple cuts with a skip tooth chain and I got sawdust under my piles so I can cut right through the log and not worry about it so let's get this thing fired up both got freshly fresh ground fresh ground chain skip tooth chain The power saw hits the log, I hit it. call it full house which is full sequence <clears throat> you can see it there okay all these chains are ground okay done we got some other stuff we're gonna do so that was full house in the same wood same right <clears throat> and the other one was skip so I don't know how that times out I go back inside and I put it on the computer and I use my cell phone and I do the stopwatch and as soon as the wood hits the or the the power saw hits the log I hit it as soon as it whap and bang I hit it that's how I time it so now Ten ten. It's not the.
the Bellhopper 1010. This is a 1010 that I've had for a long time. It's my craziest little Promac 1010 I've ever had. I don't know what's been done to it because I bought it this way. I don't believe it's been ported. I, I, I honestly don't know. What I do know is it cuts like a banshee, okay? And uh, I'm actually going to go over and I want to I want to show you a little something. I just want to give it a quick just rub the rub the rust off it. You never know what's in there. Just give it a quick little scrape. It's been sitting in that log over there. My tree, you know, my power saw tree. You guys know the one. So I just want to give it a quick little de-rustify off the old power saw chain here. And I'm going to go over to that big, big piece of fur that we just were in there uh, with that chain that was barking off to the side there because it was ground on one side and uh, hand piled on the other. So we're just giving this a little quick little scrub. Give it a little wipe here and get it to, I think we're actually done. And we're gonna see, get the rust off her. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere near that 105's time the other day. Huh? What do you think? Think we can? With this thing? A 54cc saw? It's got half the cc's that other one had. And it went through that log in about 40 seconds. So, you know your time is. I don't see it happening. It just doesn't have the cubic inch. But I have been amazed by this saw a few times. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just putting a little edge on her. This thing's, it, the chain's wiped on it, friends. Literally, it's wiped. soon for a while. I don't like them sitting for too long. Let's check that out. There we go. Let's check our oil. Don't put my oil caps on too tight. She needs a drink of oil too. Give her a high pour. Get her started. Get that oil off the off the power head. Get the, get the nozzle off the power head and give her a little bit of a high pour. It's always easier than these things. Okay, you guys ready to rock? Let's go do it. This thing's going to fire up. It's going to warm up for a minute. We're going to cut into that great big log. Who's this? Who's calling me on WhatsApp? What subscribers calling me on WhatsApp? Kenzie's. Oh, I love Kenzie's. And the Iron Horse. Two of them. Oh, I love them, man. Two power saw gurus. <laughs> well, Kenzie's got a way to go, but that Iron Horse, he knows what he's doing. Uh, Kenzie's is a guru in, a, in, another, in another way. His information bucket in his brain is crazy. Kenzie's, I want you at bucket stock so bad. I do. Okay, this is what we're doing. I'm gonna cut this log right here, right now with this 1010. It's fur, it's tough. We're gonna cut it anyway. I'm gonna warm up this 1010. It may fire on the first hop. I doubt it though.
building me a lay. There we go. Got those machines. Right on the money. <laughs> 